GarageBand allows you to export your entire project or even individual tracks or stems so that you can share them with someone else or open them in another platform. But what if you also want to share the metronome or the click track? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you a workaround that will help do just that. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and welcome back to another GarageBand iOS 5 minute tip. Some basics first, if we have a GarageBand project like this one and we tap in the top left to save it, if we want to export this, all we need to do is tap and hold and hit the share button. To export the whole song as a single audio file, we tap on song. And if we want to export the project file to share that, we tap on project. Now GarageBand doesn't have an easy way to export all of these tracks as individual tracks or stems. What you have to do is individually solo each one and then come out and do the process we did before by tapping and holding, tapping on share, and sharing each one as a song. That creates an individual audio file. You collect up those audio files and then you can send them off to someone else to bring them into another platform. But recently I got a question from someone asking, what about my metronome? I want to send a metronome track as well so that someone else working on this can have the original click track. And the short answer to that is no, it's not possible to send this click track, but it's very possible to make your own and send that. To do this, we're going to tap on on the plus button in the bottom left, scroll across until we get to the drums and tap on beat sequencer. And all we're going to do here is create a one, two, three, four beat with whatever instrument we like. And then that creates a brand new track that we can use as a click track. Now by default in the bottom left, it's going to choose the modern 808 drum kit. I'm going to go back to a more acoustic kit. Let's grab the Bluebird. And we don't want a pattern like this, so we're going to tap the Patterns button, scroll over to the left and tap New Pattern. And this is going to give us a blank slate. I like a simple metronome, so I'm going to go with a hi-hat here and just tap on one, two, three, and four. And to preview what this will sound like, tap down at the bottom. Now what some folks like is a metronome that has a different sound on the one beat. So let's say we wanted to use this open hi-hat for the one. Let's take a listen. What if you're doing an acoustic track and you want something a little bit more subtle? Well, let's tap on our drum kits here. We can go to percussion and let's grab this coffee shop kit. And this time, let's set up our metronome using our wood block. And once again, if you want the two different sounds, you can also add additional sounds to beat sequencer by tapping the plus button and adding, say, the wood block low. Now let's move the two, three, and the four down to this low sound and you get a more traditional metronome sound. To add this to our project, just hit record. And you only need one bar because we can then loop it out. To do that, tap on the tracks view, tap to select this one and drag it back to the one bar, then tap again and tap on loop. Let's solo this and take a listen to our own homemade click track. The cool thing about this is you can adjust the volume of the click track really easily and you can of course change the sounds to whatever you like rather than using the default metronome sounds. And just like we did at the start, we can solo this and then export this as a song and get just the click track as a track to share here from GarageBand. There you have it. This should make it super easy when you're sharing your projects with other folks that aren't using GarageBand because you can use your own custom click track. To learn more about creating, recording and releasing in GarageBand, check out the other videos in the description.